What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Honeybee, back to deliver another daily buzz for you guys. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day ones. Those of you who have been rocking me with me from the start, I appreciate you guys also very much. Cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. You can also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do upload content to the channel, you guys. If you're interested in any, in any personals or donate inside the channel, check the description box down below. Excuse my voice, you guys. I don't know what's going on. My throat chakra seems to be going out. I'm sore throat. I don't know what's going on. I hope I'm not getting sick, but whatever. We're going to go ahead and deliver the message. Um, keep myself protected as I deliver these messages. Keep my tribe protected as they receive these messages, Spirit. Please and thank you. Um, a memo to always redo your return to senders and call your energy back to you at the end of each evening, you guys. Whoever sending my collective positive energy, we return that tenfold. Um, whoever sending my collective negative energy or evil eye, we return that to the sender. Let's start off with some self care messages, and I want to pull. Um, I want to pull from our angel numbers deck today as well. So. Give me some messages, spirit. Give me, give me some self care. Um, so cook more if you're eating out a lot. A lot. This is an urge um, for you to cook more, more at home meals. Um, I'm hearing meal prep. Um, it saves on time, um, and you know, it's por portion control. Is what I also heard. Um, yeah, laying off fast food. Throw chakra. Ooh, throw chakra is out of balance. Spirit, is this message for me? Are y'all being shady? Is there something that you need to get off your chest? Something that you need to see? Uh -huh. yeah, I, I almost feel the like energy of being silenced. Like someone may be trying to silence you. Hmm. That's interesting. I, I don't normally get these kind of messages. Um, Thank you for the confirmation, Spirit. With this deck. But it says, have fun more, learn to love life again, and try to enjoy life more by having fun. So, some of you may just need to get out. And even if you're not getting out, you know, just staying in and dancing around, like, you know, nurturing your inner child, um, doing childlike things, you know, returning to innocence, right? Whatever the fun is for you, just just enjoy yourself. You know, you're never too you're never too old for anything to let loose, right? You never stop growing, you never stop learning, you never stop living, you know? You're gonna live till you're old and great. You might as well enjoy the journey, right? That's how you stay young, forever young. Um, that's how you stay what is the word? That's how you keep your vitality, right? Also, um, like dancing around as a form of having fun is meditation. A form of meditation. Shifting the energy. Anything that shifts the energy is a form of meditation, you guys. So I'm hearing here I'm what I'm hearing is speak your truth and live a little. Like pour into yourself, right? Even if this throat chakra is the way you speak to yourself, your positive affirmations, right? The way you process the things you say to yourself, the things you say to yourself in a subconscious fashion, right? Because that could be an out of, out of balance throat chakra. Even the colors you wear, you may want to implement more blue or um, blue nail polish blue hair um you can get some um evil eye jewelry that contains blue anything to heal that that throat chakra right oh what else give me one more spirit that's interesting with this throat chakra, someone's trying to silence you. And exercise. Yeah, definitely get out. <laughs> right? Definitely get out. Exercise. 
So this right here, it, I'm getting health change, like diet change, health examination. What else? It says 17, 17, I am independent. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You're, you are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficient focus and skill. I am independent, right? This, you know, like this, even exercise and cooking more, you know, like meal prep and that, that takes a um, certain level of discipline, right? You're wanting to be grounded. Um, they're wanting you to be grounded. I'm sorry. So your root chakra may also be out of whack. When any chakra above the root chakra is out of whack, you can almost guarantee that that root chakra is out of whack. So they want you to be more grounded. Being grounded is discipline, right? They want you to get. They want you to get disciplined. I'm compassionate. It's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is more satisfied when you are being of service. Throat chakra. So, um, you're supposed to be using your throat chakra, your words, your intellect, the way you speak. Um, to raise a vibration, to be of service. To help the greater good, the greater good of, of humanity. I'm your so I am compassionate. Hmm. And you know, like someone may, you know, like you may have people around you as well that's you know, they'll talk you out of it or they'll say things well, like, you know, there ain't no money in that or you know, like that's silly of you know what I'm saying? But it's like almost like someone is trying to silence you. Like, what would you want to do that for when you could do all this or you can have all this over here? I am intelligent. I just say your intellect. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. Yeah, definitely. It, this, the, air, the, the season you're in right now requires discipline. Focus. It is going to require you to focus. This is a message from spirit that you have to to focus, right? All the stars, all of these cards have stars and stars in them. All the stars are aligning. It's a transformation, a transformation. Okay, let's tap into the love portion of the reading, you guys, because I know this is what y'all came here for. Let's let's see, let's see about what's going on with the person that my collective is tuned in for. Give us a love message, spirit. What's going on with this person that my collective has on their mind? Let's see. What does this person want my collective to know? Six of cups under the deck. So this person wants you to know that they are at this time thinking nostalgically about you. They are thinking about you guys past encounters. The times that you shared. This may be someone that you've known since you were younger or since childhood. This could also be past life soulmate. This could also be an indication of them wanting to reconcile or that they wish that you would come to them so that you two can reconcile, reconcile right? Yeah. They wish the world would turn in, turn in their favor, right? But they feel like it's over and they're trapped. Like, it's stuck. They feel like their hands are tied. Okay. What does this person want my collective to know? <clears throat> I hear I'm lost without you. Like, I'm hearing no one, no one else will do. Like, no, they don't want anything else, right? So, this person, they may put on a facade like you know they're cool and this and that like, they don't want they don't want love right but they don't want anyone any cup with your cup three of cups there could be a third party involved and at this time this person is rejecting a cup of this third party like they don't want it like the third party could be handing your person this you know what i heard i like i like they have the third party but it's almost like they don't want this cup if they, the party the third party's cup if they can't have yours as well right they feel like they feel stuck. For a lot of you, like this person, um, they could have, I don't know if this person could have been with this third party before they met you. But this person, they came to you as a, as a form of escaping from this third party, right? And now that you cast judgment on this connection, um, you made a final decision. Hmm.
they don't want they rejecting the, the cup of this third party yeah this person is not happy like this person is not happy that you're out here single that you freed yourself from them right so this could have been a connection um that you were in where there was a third party involved and somebody freed themselves whether you were you met this person Thank you for the confirmation spirit whether you met this person while they were already with a third party or this person could have met the third party while they were with you but then you decided to free yourself from this connection and heal from this connection and find your happiness again and this person is no longer happy with the third party if they can't have you as well right it was the third party was fun for them as long as they had you too right it, it, this is real this is like this person has a nerve like they want to make you an offer for some of you. This person wants to make you an offer. They want to give you some. Could be money. I feel like this is something tangible. Yeah, this person is still sneaking though. Like this person is still sneaking, 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 sneaking. And for a lot of you, they could be sneaking off with someone else besides this third party, right? So if you freed yourself or um you freed yourself from this connection and this you left this this you know third party to have this person this person is upset with you because you let the other person have them right so they're acting uninterested but the reason why this person is acting uninterested is because one they're trying to get back to you over here right you see he's sneaking away from this cup but he's moving this way right but also this person could be sneaking with another third party right because he's uninterested in one cup over here but keep in mind this is a third party action and you're over here free so there could be an additional third party in this connection right am i i hope that makes sense so there's you over here and then this person has the third party that they betrayed you for and then there's another third party another person there's there's options in this scenario like this this person what else Ooh, ooh, tower movement. I'm feeling something explosive, like something is explosive. Yeah, this person likes to have a lot of attention. This person requires a lot of attention. This person requires a lot of, uh, they require a lot of options, right? This person has hella options. See, that almost didn't make sense that I was saying all these suitors. This person has a lot of suitors because there is a lot of suitors. Like, this is someone who wants all the attention. Like, this person likes to be the center of attention. All eyes on me. They can't stay still. This person can't stay still for too long. They don't have much patience. This person don't have no patience at all. 777. Seven, seven. You may be seeing that a lot. Mm? This is crazy. Who are these people? <laughs> This person, for a lot of you, I feel like this person has been waiting on you to come back. And it's almost confusing to them why, for the life of them, it's been so long and they can't get your attention. Like, I'm stuck on that. Spirit sent me back to deliver that message. 777. But I was like, 777. That and I was like, divine guidance. But I was like, how, is, how could it be? Okay, so divine guidance is, it was meant to happen this way, right? This person thought they had the key to your lockbox in a pocket so they can't understand how it's been so long and they see you over here happy and this person know they're not happy with this third party or these third parties they still sneaking around whoever they ended up with after you left or after they left you or however that panned out this person is sneaking on sneaking around on that third party as well and they can't understand how it's been so long how it could be so long and yet you can, you have not returned to offer your cup Okay, they feel betrayed and I kept seeing this ten of swords like this person did a lot of betraying they did a lot of betraying there was a lot of betrayal in this whole situation who did the betraying could be you could be them I hear I hear get back get that leg back so you know like you know we we all have our, our make our mistakes we all have our fuck ups right we weren't always divine we had our karmic moments everybody right so I hear get that leg back so this could have been a, a situation where you would do to them or they would do to you you know you y'all know what that mean get your leg back 
there was a lot of betrayal in this connection, right? And I feel like someone, whoever left, whoever this Nine of Pentacles energy is, left and decided to fulfill their own needs, right? Make their own dreams come true. Law of Attraction. Manifest that shit in. Whoever this Nine, this nine of Pentacles is. This person manifested this Nine of Pentacles. Pre-Empress Queen of Wands manifested herself or himself out of this out of this energy, this divine feminine energy. This feminine energy, this queen energy, manifested themselves out of this situation. And that's the truth. Like, and somebody know it. Like, whoever this person is, they know it. Like, they know it was their mistake. Just know they heartbroken. Truth of the matter is their heart is broken that you decided to take a leap of faith. But they're also hurt because this person is hurt because the truth of the matter is they didn't take a leap of faith. They offer very little. If anything at all is what I hear. They don't want to work with you, right? So judgment was cast. And again, we back to the Six of Cups. They All they could do at this point is think nostalgically. Let him be in their head. Look. And be left out in the cold. Wow. Okay. So that was karma. This was this person's karma. Them not being able to get to you or you, you leaving them behind. Like them having to watch you grow on your own and elevate and levit levitate. Oh, levitate. Levitate. <laughs> I don't know why I was going to say levitate. Like you fought your way out of it. You stood your ground. You set firm boundaries, right? This person, they could, they now, they would want to come in and fight for it. But then again, let me tell you something. Your success alone would bother this person. They love you, but they feel like, they feel like you're there beneath you. They feel like this is you and this is them. Right? They feel beneath you. And this is why this person does this. They feel less than. And it don't have to be even with just you. It could be with every, every partner that they have, right? This is why this person needs a lot of attention. They require a lot of attention because they don't feel like very much. So they base their worth on their worldly possessions. And it fucks them up because they don't know which way to go. They can't let go of the worldly things, the tangible things to um, actually pursue true love, meaningful love. They let it slip through their fingers. They do this to themselves. This person looks self sabotage. Can't look what I just said. This is on top of the deck, y'all. This person let it pass it pass them on by. They self destruct on the inside by being quiet, knowing like that what they want is this ten of cups. This person wants a ten, ten of cups just like everybody else. But they self sabotage because this person themselves has insecurity issues. This is somebody that don't know how to love themselves. They ace of cups. Self love is 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 damaged. It's, it don't exist. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. <clears throat> Let me get final messages, you guys. Before I wrap up this reading. What else, Spirit? Give me some final messages. For my collective. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. I don't, I don't want too many from this deck. I'm going to take this one. And that one. Okay. So here we are. The mask. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. You see what I'm saying? This person has insecurity issues. And this is they hide behind a mask, they hide behind material things, they hide behind worldly possessions. This person hides behind worldly possessions in an attempt to, um, I hear fake confidence. It's their fake confidence. That's their fake confidence. The worldly possessions, right? But divine in intervention. They are experiencing many time moments in their life, which where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection, right? But this person, they, I feel like it's avoidance. Like this person is avoiding doing the work because the time moment is about, you know, like doing the work. This person is battling against the change. But divine intervention, remember when I said it was supposed to happen this way? You were supposed to meet this person and it was a wake-up call. It was to wake them up. I feel like this person, they've been trying to wake this person up for a long time is what I hear. And this person has just just been sleeping because they're, they have an insatiable thirst. A thirst that no one else but you can satisfy craving you more and more, right? And at, with all these, these, all these other options, this person still craves you. But... 
the many opportunities that this person had because this person had they had plenty of time and space plenty they had plenty of time and space to do something about it and they didn't they had an insatiable thirst for also the options the worldly things the third parties the cars the clothes the you know friend the friend circle the 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 ego that's a big one oh big one Something about this person clothes, like the way they dress, they could be flashy or into the labels, expensive things. But I'm hearing like they really couldn't afford it. Like, you know, this person would to um keep up with appearances, this person would leave themselves like things un untended to, you know, like on their home front and like anything to what they say stunt, like dark night. Yeah, this person lived in the shadow side. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection this person is going through dark night of the soul dark night with this hermit energy dark night of the soul and healing they're at the end of a big healing cycle coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance and the connection but um Hold on, y'all. Let me take a sip. 21 time. I don't think they're at the end of a healing phase. I think this person is just not beginning, right? And it's not voluntarily. Like, this person, like, for some of you, it may be, um, you may communicate to this person or they may communicate to you through songs so when i said 21 21 earlier i heard 21 savage so that could be significant here one or both of you could like that that um that particular artist oh something flipped over in the deck uh-huh separation this they think about you in, in a separation when they listen to music that like this person thinks about you. They think about you. Even with all these other people around is what I'm, I keep hearing, right? Look, exhausted. This person is tired of wearing a mask. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're trying. They're really trying to trust the situation. And break through. They are planning right now to come towards you and ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. And divine truth we are we are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring to light all that lies all that has been hidden so this person is discovering their truth but listen with dark night of the soul being here and exhausted like this person has a lot of healing that they have to do right it's going to take a lot like this person is going to require a lot of time they're going to require a lot of space like send your person love and light right um, even if you don't want this person, you guys, like, never be too big to send someone healing energy, right? We've all been through dark night of the soul and transformation and awakenings. Hmm. This is deep. This was a real heavy one. I hope this helps y'all. See y'all in the next video. Bye.